Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your old buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is the Keltec PMR 30. Now, the PMR 30's been out for a few years now. Uh, when they first come out, it was kind of hard to get a hold of one because you couldn't find anybody that would loan a new gun to be used in videos that uh, when it went back to them it's a used gun <laughs> basically comes down to it so a good friend of mine purchased a pistol and a rifle at the same time and we got to we get to bring it out uh, the PMR 30 is a 22 magnum 22 Winchester magnum semi-automatic pistol with a magazine capacity of 30 rounds it has this big old coffin style magazine that holds a total of 30. Uh, it's equipped with a heel catch down here on the bottom, which simplifies the manufacture of it a great deal. It has ambidextrous safeties located up here where safety on an automatic pistol ought to be located. It has fiber optic sights on it that are actually very good. Uh, you know, and like that pretty interesting gun it doesn't have the old creepy glock style smith and wesson rip off tri trigger safety on it that you see on a lot of modern guns now it has a fair amount of picatinny out here on the front of it mounting lasers and flashlights and no i ain't gonna say that and uh various things it's super lightweight i mean this thing doesn't uh, unloaded this thing doesn't weigh anything and loaded, it doesn't weigh anything plus the weight of 30 22 Magnums. So it's it's really light to pack. Uh, the serviceability of the 22 Magnum as a defensive cartridge is fairly good, you know, compared to a 22 long rifle or say a 25. Uh, I would probably rather have the 22 Magnum as a defensive round than 32 ACP, you know. So. Having said all of that, we're going to try three different kinds of ammunition in this gun, see how it works. We're going to start out with Winchester Super X semi-jacketed hollow point. And I got old dirty Myrtle target down there, dirty Myrtle target. We're going to give it a whirly tatey. Put that in there like that. Run that guy up in there. Went in the battery. I seen it go in there. A lot of, a lot of brass. So you, you know, you can't miss it. Put it on the old block and see if I can't hold her down there. Ooh, that has a very light trigger. Yes, almost girlish. <laughs> I'm gonna get it for that one. All right, here we go. Lightweight trigger, very sensitive trigger, and shoots pretty good too. Yeah. I can actually shoot this gun. Hey. Hey, hey. That gun shoots pretty good with uh, Winchester Super X. Let's try some Aguila. 22 Magnum, 40 grain. Let's get us about five of them, stick them in there. See how that goes. Old George Kelder and he. I think he come up with a winner with this gun. Now, I've seen a few of these guns over in the past couple of years that did not work. I mean, just pure and simple, just did not work with anything you put in it. When they come out, they were kind of a dog, just to tell you the truth. But the newer ones and the ones that you return to the factory for upgrading and so forth seem to be working pretty good. The slide is a composite of polymer bolted to metal. I, I'm not 100% sure I like that, but uh, for the time being, it seems to be working. Whew. If loud makes a gun effective. <laughs> It's got pretty effective. Let's try about five CCIs here. The reason why we're doing this is just to establish that it works with all kinds of different ammunitions. 
um, I knew that this gun worked. Uh, I had gotten a chance to shoot this gun previously, but not with multiple ammunitions and on my own time for an evaluation. It has a slide release over here on the side that's uh, pretty smooth. All right, let's get up here and see if we can get something going. Uh, all right, let's run down there and take a look at our accuracy. See how it actually shoots. I shoot this gun pretty good, but let's go down here and get a close range verification that it actually shoots. Got the King Air going over up there. Oh, uh, yeah. So, what else? 15 rounds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think I had 6 in that first string. That's uh, 15 yards. That's pretty acceptable accuracy. I got to where I could shoot this gun a little bit more and get used to all of its little idiosyncrasies. I think I would do a lot better with it. But uh, as it stands, that is uh, pretty acceptable accuracy. Pretty acceptable gun. I'm not sure what these guns actually are valued at. Um, to tell you the truth, I've never seen a used one for sale. <clears throat> these guns were right at $329, $39, $49 when they came out. Um, in today's market, I don't know what they actually bring. To tell you the truth, I forgot to look on the internet last night and see what they actually go for. Uh, I couldn't estimate the used value of this gun for the simple reason that um, you just don't see them for sale used. I, you know, they're like a Nissan pickup truck. You never see one on a used car lot. You know, uh, it's a pretty neat gun. I, I enjoyed shooting it, and it's all right. Let's put, let's put some more in it. I'm like, let's shoot it a little bit more. Let's try a 10 this time. Let's put 10 in it. One more string down there. We'll try it on steels and see how it shoots. See if I can actually hit anything on a steel target with it. It kind of hangs you up when you load this magazine because the rim doesn't go all the way to the back of the magazine like it wants, like you think it ought to, until you push the next one in on top of it, and then it pushes it down and pushes it back. And I can't get it to go back. See, it's like that, you know, and I can't get it to push back or go back. But when you stick the next round in there, it, uh, I don't know. By my way of thinking, the magazines are somewhat flimsy. Just to tell you the truth, I think the magazines are somewhat flimsy. Uh, but, you know, time will tell, to tell you the truth. Uh, Caltech is a very innovative company. Uh, they have a lot of innovations. Over the years, they've had quite a few failures. I mean, Keltec got to be known in the gun business as a boomerang brand because you'd sell it on Friday and uh, it'd come back in the door Monday with a litany of complaints. Or you'd sell it on Monday, Sunday, or you'd sell it on Friday and the guy would come in Monday and buy another one. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, They've had some they've had some really spectacular failures over the years, but they've had some really spectacular successes over the years, and I think this is one of them. Let's see if we can't hit that little steel swinger down there. Uh, yeah, we sure can. Yeah. Let's try a little steel chicken, a little two and a half inch air gun target, see if we can hit it. Nope, 
that might have been a little bit too ambitious. Let's try eight inch steel swinger plate. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Well, somehow that piece of fouling got in my eye past that safety glasses. <sighs> safety glasses may be an issue with this gun. Okay. One thing about it, if loud is effective, <laughs> this thing will kill an elephant. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ah, well, that's it's a very impressive gun, just to tell you the truth. Uh, I don't know that I would want this as a main battle sidearm. I'm not 100% sure I would want this as a defensive firearm or a duty firearm. But uh, as 22 automatic pistols go, this is a pretty good one. And as 22 automatic magnum pistols go, uh, this is the best I've ever shot. It seems to work better and function better than the old AMT did. Um, you know, I had a uh, Irma imported from Germany that was a 22 Magnum pistol back in the day, and it it was complete junk. Uh, so they may have finally perfected the 22 semi-automatic Winchester Magnum. This may be the perfection of it. Uh, it's got a very good, it's very well made. The frame is in two pieces, and it's held together by hex bolts. Uh, I don't know if that helps it or hurts it, makes it easier to manufacture or gives it more strength because it puts some metal in it. Um, I really don't know, but I know that this is a fairly impressive little gun. Well, that's about the size of it. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe. Have a great 2A day. Join the NRA. Uh, leave me a dollar on old Patreon bucket on the way out. And, and uh, we just keep right on making content for you. All right, then. We'll see you now. Turn that boy off.